Now, let us begin our first experiment. The name of this experiment is emulsion. Yes, we are going to see how the egg yolk acts as an emulsifier. Are you ready? So let us see the things that we need. You will need two bowls, transparent bowls. Here I am using two glass bowls. You will need a cup of oil, vegetable oil. You will also need some vinegar. You will need an egg. Here we are going to use only the yolk of the egg. You will also need an egg beater or a fork if you don't have an egg beater. And finally you will need a plate, a flat plate and a plastic bottle. So now, do you have the things ready? Shall we start our experiment? Now, I will begin by taking one of the glass bowls and I will pour some vegetable oil in it. So I have poured the vegetable oil now I am going to add little vinegar to it. To be precise, one teaspoon of vinegar I am adding to it. You can now see that the vinegar doesn't mix with the oil. You can see bubbles on it. My next step is to beat these two together using an egg beater. In this case, since I have a very small bowl, I am using a fork. You need to stop and observe the mixture. If you observe, you will see that in the beginning it looked like they mixed together but if you give it some time you will see the oil and the vinegar separating why is this happening this is because the vinegar is more dense so it stays at the bottom but the oil has less density and therefore it floats on top of the vinegar forming a layer so you can see two different layers now our next step is to put the yolk of the egg into the other bowl and I'm going to show you one way of separating the yolk alone from the egg without getting your hands dirty. So first you need to break the egg. You can see So you can see the yolk of the egg that is yellow in color. So now I'm going to show you how to separate only the yellow that is the yolk of the egg. For this we need a plastic bottle. So here when I press this bottle the air inside comes out. Therefore a vacuum is created. Now this vacuum creates a force that pulls the yolk of the egg alone inside when I place the mouth of the bottle over the yolk of the egg. So are you ready? You need to press it and slowly release it. So now you can see the yolk of the egg alone inside the bottle and my hands are still clean. Our next step is to transfer the yolk into 
our second bowl. So now we have completed our next step. So we have one bowl with vinegar and vegetable oil and our second bowl with the yolk of the egg. Now I add one teaspoon of vinegar to the egg yolk. And now I beat it just like how I did for the oil and the vinegar. So an egg beater would be the best option here. You must beat it till it becomes thick. Now it has become thick and I already told you this yolk of the egg is going to act as our emulsifier. So now into this bowl I add one cup of oil and some vinegar. So it is the same thing that we added in cup A but in cup B we have additional egg yolk that is our emulsifier. Now I need to whisk this. Now we have completed our experiment. We need to observe. Now observe cup A and cup B. In cup A, when you beat the oil and vinegar together, the liquids seem to mix. But if you leave it for a while, they start separating. Vinegar being denser sinks to the bottom of the bowl while oil floats on it. In the second part of the experiment, that is cup B, you will see that the egg yolk, the oil and the vinegar mix together to form a stable mixture which is called the emulsion. An egg yolk contains molecules of lecithin which prevents the oil from coming together. So an emulsion is a mixture of two liquids that do not mix ordinarily but they mix when you add a substance called an emulsifier. So now we have learnt how an egg yolk acts as an emulsifier. So an emulsion is a mixture of two liquids that do not mix together ordinarily. It needs an emulsifier to mix forming what is called an emulsion. So did you enjoy this experiment? You can try this at home. The things you need are very simple. So Kindly try it and you will see how it works.